Hello guys and girls. Voices from the dark here. Is it unsettling having Marina's eyes track your every movement? She's simply mesmerized by the wonderful wriggling of the sheep booty here. Standing outside of Skingrad, where Eurus the shepherd is taking care of his sheep. Wonderful guy. Came to help me with some necromancers once. Love him. And now, I will capture Dova sheep. And together we will ride into oblivion itself. At least that was my original idea for what I wanted to do when I got this far out, but seeing as we just had a portal in episode 111, I think I'm gonna let Dova Sheep just return home. Dova Sheep. We can hang some other day, okay? I'll be back for you. I'm simply gonna ignore the portals for now and instead go and do what we were supposed to do. And we can come back to the portal some other time. I consider maybe just speedrunning a portal if it's a world we've been in, but... Let's just leave the portals be for now. But... There is something I noticed that I had done. Remember how I collected some bone meal? Because I needed to grind it down. I mean, so I, so I had to avoid grinding it down so I could use it at Meridia Shrine. Turns out I've made a damage fatigue poison. I'm fairly sure that comes from bone meal. So we messed that up. We can't start Meridia's quest, but... It's not really a biggie. Now though... I'd really like to head over to Fort Isterius, because Fort Isterius is a mysterious place where we can make black soul gems. And that's exactly what we want to do, because we have so many grand soul gems in our inventory right now that it would be wonderful to get them transferred into some black ones. And of course, with black ones, we'll be able to make some great, powerful enchants and... <gasps> Since we are going to be making a new set of gear for carrying stuff, other than the champion's gear, I feel like that would be a very... It's, it's, it'll be very, very useful to have some filled up black soul gems for when that time comes. Is that a bandit? I think it might be. Oh no, he has a glass weapon. Alright. Kajib with an axe. We're gonna be fighting him on the road, because if he drops that in the bushes, it'll be gone forever. That's just how it works. Oh, that's a woman. Glass. Sure. Sure. Boink, 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 boink. Love light armor, though. Wonderful. There we go. Another corpse to litter the roads. And show bandits that you do not mess with me. I am the hero of Kavach. The champion of Cyril. Well, I'm not the champion of Cyril. That's sort of... The whole point of this series is to become the champion of Cyril. What I want to happen... I don't know if it's going to be feasible or if it's how we're going to be doing it, but I want to complete everything up until the main quest before I do the main quest. So when the credits roll, that's the credits for the challenge. Of course, I'll still have to talk to Okado and wait to get my armor and such, but I want that to be the last thing we do in the entire game, in the entire series. Because I feel like that will just have much more impact rather than, there we go, guys, we finished the main quest. Now we just need to clear out 70 more caves of goblins, you know? So try to try to balance that in, in some way or another. This is still just an insane challenge that I can't believe I've taken on Elven Warhammer. I'm gonna start becoming a bit more picky with what I pick up because I don't need the money. I really don't. I'm fine. Oh, yeah, I have like 60 picks, but still, it doesn't feel right to just let them break, though. That's the thing. I don't want to break my luck picks. Gold nugget. Take that. What kind of book? Brief history of the Empire. Not interested in reading that at the moment. All right. Let's continue over to Fort Asterius. Now, we met a lot of humanoids on the way. That's also because there are a lot of camps on the way to Kavach. So, we want to stop by some of these camps to fill up our soul gem. Because one of the main issues with having a black soul gem is that we have soul trap on everything that we do. So, we don't want to get a petty soul and a black soul gem because there's simply... There's no fixing that. There we go. There's the altar. And we just gotta... Rah. Bad doggy. Don't do that. Then my shock spell goes into infinity. Probably hitting an alien on some distant planet. I wonder how long I have to wait for the Shade of the Revenant to appear. I think I have to clear out the fort first. Or the outside of it. Oh boy. Ogre, ogre. 
good. Not gonna get the ogre teeth though. There we go, you see, I'm getting better at not picking up everything. Just some things, just a couple of things. So we're gonna wait until the 30th of Morning Star, because I can't remember the exact date it appears. Let's see if that's correct. Around midnight would be the easiest time to see it either way. Nope. Looks like we'll be doing some waiting. Okay, the third of sun's dawn. Let's open up the altar. Let's place the defile grand soul gems. Boom, boom, boom. Six of them, ready to go. Let's get our soul trap spell ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six black soul gems, ready to use. Wonderful. Now, we need to fill them with humanoid souls, so we need to be very careful about our playstyle for a little while now. I also want to head over to Red Lane Camp. And along the way, I want to stop by these camps, and there's also going to be a little fort named uh, Dasek Moor that's going to be right nearby, filled with humanoids, if I still require humanoid souls. But hopefully I'll be able to fill it up just by visiting bandit camps along the way. But before we get into a lot of combat, though, it might be best if we talk about our Transcendent Sigil Stone. Frost Shield 25%, don't get me wrong, it's a great effect, I just don't know if I want it on my wrist irons. I would prefer to have something like Fire Shield 25%, I know I'm being very picky now, but I'd rather prefer to have Fire Shield. But this is still good, I still need to take a, a piece of my equipment and swap it out with something else. Aegis Robe 18% shield is very good. It's the best we're gonna get outside of a Transcendent Sigil Stone, so we're not gonna mess with that at all. Then we have the Battle Mage Amulet and the Battle Mage Hood, and the Shoes, which are all rather weak, so I could be replacing either one of these, really. Then we have the Ring of Protection, which is 15%, which is quite good. It's better than what I can enchant myself, so I wouldn't want to change that. But what I'm considering is taking my Battle Mage Amulet, which is a silver amulet, and I'm switching that out with the silver amulet that I just stole from Skingrad. And instead giving that a boost, because that would give it a much greater effect. I would have 25% frost shields, as compared to 9% fire shields. Oh boy, this is gonna be quite the item. We're gonna name it Battle Mage Amulet, because we're just, we got, we got the naming convention down with the Battle Mage gear, it's all in one line, it's kind of neat. But I want to give it something else, like the Battle Mage Amulet of Frost. Sure. Let's do something like that, just to separate from the other one. Boom, boom. And we're wearing the Ring of Protection. It's also we'll wear the Grand Ring of Shock Shields. 85% physical damage reduction. That is the cap for physical damage reduction right there. We're gonna start surviving a whole lot more blows, but of course we can only do that if we're actually wearing all the items. So that's a bit of an issue. Like I'll have to swip swap out things in order to carry more stuff and such. So luckily I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna use pack mule for five minutes just so I can have a proper feel at what it's like to have 85% physical damage reduction. Let's try to actually take some blows from this guy. Look at my health though! Did you see that? That was a great landing by the way. He hit me with the Dwarven Warhammer. Could barely dent me. I mean, if we had several people surrounding me and started stunlocking me and hitting me, that would be an issue still, but... That was... Considerable. That was very, very considerable. Alright, let's, let's get it up here. Let's get it up. Let's get it up. Whoop. Come on now. You'd be surprised how many times Marina has to say this to a guy. There we go. Wolf pe It's not worth locking away wolf pelt and iron arrows, mister. <laughs> People who pass by this camp, they're just gonna be like, what happened here? I need some answers right now. Okay, so we need a way to kill enemies like this wolf over here. So we could either use the Goblin Totem Staff, pretty simple, Rock Shatter I guess, 
Scholar Corruption, War of Verena, Verminas Vision, plus some poison. Because this doesn't have any sort of soul trap effect on it. Neither does my prep spells. So I kind of want to try that. I only have iron arrows, but the arrows don't count. The, the type, I mean. Okay, so. Can you stand still and let me hit you? Alright. <laughs> Sense him running while he's been weakened to poison. Wonderful. Alright, we're actually going to be using a bow and arrow a little bit here. How's that for exciting gameplay, huh? That's a nice change of pace. Okay, so let's just get going to the next camp. Meet the next few humanoids. Kick their butts. Test out our the current protection of our battle mage gear. Now you might wonder, well, you have such powerful gear. What's the point of getting more powerful gear? If I can achieve this same result with less gear, I can wear more pieces that give me other benefits as well, such as fortifying my willpower or something equally good. Don't hurt me! I'm sure. I won't hurt you then. Bye bye. <laughs> That didn't really work out, because she wasn't weakened when I hit her, because she started running away, and I got a little... Oh, wait, I haven't actually poisoned my arrows. <laughs> okay, I'm just toying with her. I forgot, I actually haven't put the them on a hotkey. Sorry, lady. This is how it's supposed to go. I'm supposed to weaken you. Don't hurt me. That's so good! That's so good! I love it! I'm gonna grab that. Thank you very much, woman. Just gotta remember to apply the poison. It doesn't just work without the poison, Dark. And then I can still just charge this up like I can any other item. So we're all good. Let's just keep that goblin totem staff charged up in case I feel like... Wait, but I had to capture her soul. She was a humanoid. Okay, I'm just confused. Still, doesn't matter. There's gonna be plenty of humanoids where we're gonna be going. But I was just having too much fun with, uh, with Vermita's vision. Just the terror, the instant they're hit, and then combine that with their health rapidly draining. I don't know, I find it so oddly satisfying. See, if I can cast weakness on a whole bunch, and they come running at me, and I can apply a couple of poisons and just be like, pew, 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 fire off three arrows, they'll all just flee from me, their health draining. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Let's see, did I go by a place on the map? Where am I? Guys, okay, so we stopped by there. We have Red Lane Camp over here, but we also have the fort called Dasek Moor. Now, something interesting I noticed about this general area on the map is that in the original game, I believe this appears on the map as a mine icon when it's clearly a fort. So the unofficial Oblivion patch has changed it back to being a fort. But Red Lane Camp also does not appear on the map in the original game, I think. It's an unmarked location, but the unofficial Oblivion patch has made it... Uh, a official location because it's one of the biggest camps in the game and it's actually a considerable location So that's just something that's a little interesting. I, I kind of want to stop by the camp up here We're probably gonna have humanoids though So I'm gonna have to just let Romina's vision be grab a and Have a little bit of fun Where are ya? Nobody's here? This is like quite a considerable camp. Are you sure nobody's just not out? Oh, yeah, fine. I mean, doesn't have to be anybody here. I mean, I'll, I'll survive, but I'm just a little disappointed. Expecting some combat there. But that's fine. That's why I wrote down mm. the location of Dasek Moor on the map. So we're gonna sneak in here in the dead of night and see what kind of chaos we can inflict upon the inhabitants of the fort. Okay. Let's -a go. I'm over encumbered. Mamma mia. Okay, let's do Pack Mule and then Deathly Visage if I can manage to click it and then cast it. Okay. Now this should be a fort. Oh boy, that's a rat. That's a good old ratty roo. I'm gonna see if we can kill it with a singular arrow. Not quite, but it does confuse it though, which is fun. Doink. If we had a little bit of poison on it, it would have done just well, but I didn't want to use a poison on him, to be honest. Alright, let's go deeper. 
It's time to hunt ourselves some marauders. Ho ho. I'm right behind you. Okay. It's Ethereus time in here though. Here's what I want to do though. Ah! Step one, miss. Step two, make him think he has a chance to get out of this alive. Step three, stab him with your dagger. That's the most fun part. Bah! Wonderful. Love and bow, glass arrows, orcish. We're not gonna pick up dwarven. I don't like the value to wait. I really don't. Not a fan of that. Not at all. Average lock. I mean, I have 60 picks. I ought to just auto attempt, but you just. Whenever a lock pick breaks on auto attempt, it hurts inside. I don't know why. But what I do gotta remember to use more is the repair hammers to repair stuff like that. Now, we do have Skyforge smithing, so whenever we're reduced to one repair hammer, we can ensure our safety by fortifying our repair skills. Ugh. That worked out well. That worked out really well. Oh boy. Thanks for that. Oh, is your hand okay? It looks like she died while making some sort of gang sign. I think she was trying to cast some sort of powerful spell here. Black soldier and grand grand grands. Okay, so I filled up three of them and I have three to go. Good. Now, if you want to carry more, I think I'm going to stick to trying to use spells for now. So I can have my physical damage reduction and just really enjoy having reached that gap. We can go to the the, the, the Malibulge. And you know, I'm a big fan of Malibulges in general, but I just feel like this Malibulge just might not be where I want to go. Alright, let's do this. Just Miss with every single spell. Why don't you miss with a couple more? Yeah! But look at this, I can actually face this guy in melee combat without dying instantly. I can stagger him back if I want to. This is the power of the battle mage gear. How awesome does that feel? Answer, really awesome. Ebony, orcish, so heavy, but I love it! This is good. This is this is the next evolution. Fix up all of that. Just two more soul gems to go. Now we're getting to the stage where I'll soon have to start equipping some gear though. That's the thing. Because these weightless spells only last for 60 seconds, was it? Yeah, which is not a lot, so it's gonna become very tedious very quickly when it comes to keeping uh, our carrying capacity high, so... I have to start swapping out some of the gear, but that's fine. Oh boy, somebody sees me somewhere. Oh, Archer! Don't worry, we got him. A couple of slashes of a thi- oh oh. We do not have enough charge. And it just so happens that we don't have anything to charge it with either. If only we had another weapon that worked. <laughs> Oh, wait, oh, he died from the pool. I was getting ready to do some sort of awesome, whatever, whatever, fine. If he's just gonna die like that. Okay, let's swap out the battle mage shoes. The shoes of heavy lifting, there we go. Make us capable of walking a bit longer. Man, we filled up on loot real fast, but that's also gonna happen in the late game when everybody carries such heavy loot. Is this... This is where I kill that chick, and that's the Malibulge. This is where I jump down. Got got the, hand, got the upper hand on that little raider. Little marauder, man. Okay. So. East Burden. Lighten loads. And then Pack Mule. If we still can't walk with that... We'll have to consider if we should swap out a ring for the champion's ring. Which is still not going to give us enough. Man. 
Which means that we're gonna equip the hood with the champion suit. Oh boy. Fine! Fine. We'll wear it. We'll wear the champion's gear. I'm gonna get uh, some much, much better looking gear though. It's all planned, but one of the pieces is down there Leowin, so that's... That's sort of difficult when you're not fast traveling. It's not like, oh, let's just go to Leowin. I mean, I could probably run there in a day if I just focused on that, but I have to do other things along the way, so... A trip like that can take like 10 to 20 episodes, really. If we have other things that we want to do on the way. I mean, right now we're on the way to Anvil. And that's been our goal for a little while now. The tombs, I like them much more than I like the Molobulge, so... Oh, that's a ghost. Oh. They're fighting undead down here. Okay. How do I fill my soul gems? There are two more that needs to be filled. Alright, so I need to get in there and grab this human. Damn it, I don't have charge! Don't have charge! Okay, that's fine. We have a spell for that. It's called a soul trap spell. <laughs> don't usually have to resort to this. But there we go. Then I'm gonna use... Romina's vision as soon as he will let me swap to it. Ow! Don't hurt me. There we go. Send her down the corridor so she can run into that ghost over there. And that can oh. hurt her oh. further. Yeah. Doink! And good night. Okay. Skeleton time. This shouldn't be an issue. However, it might be. <laughs> Since we have to resort to the stuff like the Goblin Totem Staff. Or Rock Shatter. Rock Shatter might also work out pretty well here. So I'll pop a Welkin Stone. Can't use the Dagger of Extreme Pain, so... Alright. Rock. Sha. Tur. Boing! Off he goes. Poor little bugger. Hey, there's some bone meal! I, well, I'm already way past Meridia Shrine. <laughs> On the way back, I guess. Elven Battle Axe, I'm not really gonna bother picking up. Okay. If they're not humanoid, use Rock Shatter. Oh! <sighs> Started draining my endurance and my strength right there. And I'm losing health over time. Don't worry, I see it, I see it, I see it. They're so dangerous, man. You don't mess with wraiths. Oh, okay. So that was bad, and that was also pretty bad because I didn't have all my full protection on. So I really ought to have it, but... Okay. If I was to swip, swap back... Swippity swappity... Then I would also need to carry a lot. If I wanted to carry a lot, I would have to cast out... Tons of spells, but let's do some weightless spells quickly. Okay. And then we're going to sip up on a potion of magicka. And then some of those really, really heavy potions of healing. Probably didn't even need the weakness on that guy. But I can't capture any souls either because. If they automatically went to Sura Star, it wouldn't be a problem. But they don't. There we go. See, I could take a lot more of a beating now. Uh. A rock shatter is really. There we go. Blunt skill. Here's a dead marauder. He was dead before we even got in. It's a little odd, though, that if they have an NPC in the game that's supposed to be dead, they name him dead. But if another NPC that's alive just dies, he's just called Marauder. I don't know, it just seems like a bit of an inconsistency, but it's not important. It's just a minor thing. I'll grab it. I'll grab it all. Ectoplasm, also something I could deliver to Meridia. Now my health is once again draining. Oh, wow. Did I forget to loot you? Terribly sorry about that. Okay. Well, let's just wait around here for our health to regenerate a little bit. There we go. Now, this is sort of why I like wearing champion gear, because otherwise the process of equipping so many feather spells really 
takes a time, but at the same time, that's what I get for looting. If, if I just wouldn't loot as much, this wouldn't actually be an issue. Okay, got some potions there that I missed. I think I grabbed the stuff in the other chest. So in here we have some skelly bros. Ooh, that's a skeleton champion. Nasty. But I'm not doing much good with this one. Okay, what other weapons could I use here? The Skull of Corruption, does that work on undead? Oh, stop hitting. Oh, and please go out of the animation so I can swap. It's so infuriating that I can't swap during an animation. Boom. No, that didn't seem to work. Nothing appeared. I don't think you can paralyze them either. Rock Shatter still has a couple of charges. So what we're gonna do is that we're going to pop up on a... Restore health. Weak potion of sorcery. Get some weakness effects in. Go, 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 go! Yeah! Here we go, that- oh, I had po- well, I can't use poison on undead either way. What? What is that bow? Bow the Dynamo? Is that why it was owning me so much? That's a good bow! It's a glass bow that does shock damage, 15 points on strike, and soul trap for 5 seconds on strike. If I was an archer playing the game in a regular fashion, man, I would have loved that. Right, and I might have forgotten to loot some tombs around here. That was really cool, I like that. There we go, get out of here. I came here to fight marauders, and yet... Can't? Okay, so none of them have been defiled, and I just have one left to fill now. We got this. We got this. Okay, so some of my spells have worn off now. Probably the weightless spells. Now, probably want to consider if there's a better way to do it other than using these weightless spells. Did I just pop that? Okay. Boop. And then let's pop this. Oh, I don't actually have to. How quaint. We'll just move on then. Okay, was that most of it? Okay, I think that was this little chamber down here. Just wanna go back and make sure I looted these coffins, cause they have some goodies in them. This little thing I stopped by too. At least we're learning a lot when it comes to just combat styles when we're restricted. If we can't use the uh, the go-to weapons, like how do we do it? It's, it's, it's kind of interesting. Figuring out alternate ways to fight. Okay, I've probably checked all of them now. So this was the entire point of this rune though, right? Yes. So now we just have to go into the Malabulge and see what's, see what's up there. We just need one more humanoid to fight. We can put down Rock Shatter for good. We're actually going to be delivering Rock Shatter at the Whitman farm where we first got it. Well, we didn't get it there. We we got the quest there to go and kill a warlord. And we got it from him, but then we just never went back to Whitman farm and delivered it because it was sort of a good weapon. I mean, we still have it with us. It's 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 occasionally good, you know? It's something that we pull out every once in a while. But at least popping all these spells is giving us plenty of training when it comes to magic. The schools of magic. So, the Malibol just there. That's the West Wheel. Then there's another little path that I haven't actually explored at all. Let's check over here with the Battle Mage Girl that we took care of rather swiftly. <laughs> Yes, I want to become an expert in armor. I can make my weapons better than 100%. I'll do more damage. That's so nice. I like the thought of that. Humanoid! Let's battle, woman! Kabam! Finally. The final soul has been found. And I can put Rock Shatter behind me. And I can become over-encumbered. Okay, yeah, so it's it's a bit of an issue with everything I'm picking up because I'm constantly having to 
swap out gear in order to not become over encumbered, so... Okay, let's be careful. That might be a warlord. Oh, boy! Right, and we... Oh, I still need to get some sort of soul gem to fill up my weapon, too. But if we don't have that, we're gonna have to use Vermina's vision, then. Okay. So, just in case, we're gonna pop up on one of those restore potions. Pop a Welkin stone. Pop a poison. BAM! <laughs> oh, salubrious curious. Damn, I'm taking that ebony stuff, man. Oh boy, this is becoming very heavy. Okay, full champion modes. I think so. At least partly, partially champion modes. Okay. Whew, that was quite something. We, st I mean, we could use a Varla Stone to charge my Aetherius, but I didn't feel that it was necessary at the time. Then I'll equip the Shoes of Heavy Lifting. There we go. That should still not make us capable of carrying what we want to carry, because the Weightless spells are just that damn good. Oh boy. But still, I, I mean, technically we could be fine if we like went a dungeon or two without looting, but like looting is part of the fun. And even though we don't necessarily need the money, just going through and not looting is a little odd. But yeah, we're, we're capable of carrying insane amounts now. It's like, oh, I can only carry like 1,000 units of stuff. That sucks. But it'd be nice to have a different way of doing it. Probably consider stopping by a mage's guild and seeing if they have some more feather spells there, because they're usually more efficient than the ones that I make myself. The weightless spells. Okay, so that was in the Malabulge. Nice. I like. Now, where did I come in? I feel like I came in over there. So. Yeah, so I haven't been over here. And that completes the little tour of the place. Nice, because this is like right underneath the statue where we killed the first dudes. And we managed to fill all of the black soul gems. Wonderful. So we now have nine filled soul gems ready to go. That's a nice feeling. We also got to experiment with the new weapons, especially Vermina's vision. Got to see how powerful that can be. So overall, I'm very happy with how things turned out. Now, guys and girls, do you want to know where we're gonna go? We're gonna go to Kvatch. Yes, I know, Kvatch. But what is it to do there? Well, there's a couple of things. Firstly, there's a restoration trainer there, and we can do her master training quest, which is simply to save Kvatch. Luckily, we have already saved Kvatch, so... We can just go and talk to her and be like, hey, we saved the city. She's like, ah, oh, cool. Quest complete. That's all we have to worry about. But still, we're gonna have to pop a couple of these if I wish to get there. Hopefully I can also sell off a little bit while I'm here. So my first order of business should be to find a merchant. I'm just tired. You're the one who closed the gate. Thank you. Is that the way you talk to somebody who saved your entire life? I, I just anymore. can't sleep. Okay. I guess you can there we go. You close the gate! That's the first good news in a long time! Are you one of the merchants? Yes. I would gladly let you invest in my shop. Perfect. If it's broken, I can fix it. Let's see... I want to fix up Ethereus, I want to fix up Romina's Vision, the other things, nah. Good. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? You may. You have 700 gold and you're a master? I can't- I can't trade with this lady. I was like, yes, I can sell off some of my goods. I cannot trade with her. If she's a master, she's not gonna accept any decent prices. I might have to though. Okay, let's go find the other merchants here. I know there's two of them. Hey. Thanks. Kavach is safer for all of us now you've closed the gate. I'm not sure who's a merchant. There we go. I would gladly let you invest in my shop. Well, I knew is that there were two merchants in Kavach, and we got them. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? 700, what are you? Master! 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 
Master of Mercantile gonna give me bad rates. Let's do business. You. I'm gonna have to sell to her. Let's figure out how far we can push a master. So what if you've made a good? Oh, you're even really sixty percent, sixty-five percent. I can't afford. Okay, so it's somewhere between there, sixty-three percent. You've made a good. Sixty-four percent. I can't make that. Sixty-three percent. Okay, so it's not awful. So we'll be able to sell off a couple of things here. And I have to, just for carrying capacity, because I'm going insane popping all these spells. Uh, so we'll sell off the arrows, uh, that's a good, that's a daggers, these bows and daggers. Arrows, one by one, of course. Glass battle axe, glass bow, glass that long sword. That's a good these arrows, uh, that's a good just deal. keeping it simple with iron, they weigh the least. Type doesn't matter that much. This battle mage amulet, it doesn't weigh a lot, so I'd like to sell it to a merchant who can give me a much better price for it. Everything that's deal. armor needs to be sold off. Look at our weight go that's down. A, you... That's wonderful. It doesn't matter that we're not getting good rates. I think I get way Mark, too caught up in price? getting the best well, rates got... for stuff. You've when it's really not... Oh, I sold a pair of lineage shoes. How could I do it? I think I have more than enough, but I'm gonna buy back those shoes. I really like them. That's... Some orcish stuff. A fine transaction. Salubrious Curus. I'm not gonna sell though, because just it's worth a lot. Tons of money. Ooh, you want some black soldiums. I don't want to sell anything Come else. Come back and see me again. Oh, pretty terrible deals, but we can walk again. Let's see. Let's see if we can find Oletta. I believe she's the restoration trainer. Ooh, sadly, Matthews has his own tent. I was not actually aware of that. Nice. Chainmail helmet, Kovac shield, little chest, the Book of Daedra. Map of Kavach that he likes to stare at in the morning, wondering what he's gonna do. How could the Nine let this happen? Are they angry with us? Perhaps. Just can't sleep. I like Canvas that. tent door to tent. Wonderful. Let's see. Speak to the restoration trainer. What? I'm told you closed the Oblivion Gate. I'm amazed. Thank you. On behalf of all Kavach's refugees. Didn't she say something that she'd lost something? Did I just not understand? Farewell. Maybe I just didn't see clearly. Well, she's out of here. Yeah, I'm looking for somebody named Oletta. I feel like I've checked out most of the ladies around here. Still haven't found her. Tavia? I'm really busy. Oh, sorry. You closed the gate, yes? Thank you. What can I do for you? I don't know. What do you do here? A gate opened and Deidre poured out. Everybody ran. Or they died. I don't know how the fire started, but it burned Kavach to the ground. I remember when we closed that gate. Goodbye. Like episode 56 or so. There we go! Oh, I think just because they wear the same thing and they're a red guard, I assume they were the same person. I think that says something about me. Greetings, traveler. What do you seek? I seek restoration training. You have helped to save Kavach, or what is left of it. For that, I can do nothing less than help you spread healing throughout Cyrodiil. I shall offer you whatever skill I have. Thank you. Quest complete. Restoration training. Simple. You too. Now, the restoration trainer is definitely a trainer you want to use because restoration is so slow. So, we're going to let those people blabber on about the end of the world. Meanwhile, we're going to rejoice at the fact that we have an empty inventory, and we're actually able to carry some things with us. Without wearing all manner of ugly gear. Well then, guys and girls, here we are once more, the end of an episode. I certainly hope you've enjoyed watching, I've really enjoyed playing, it's been great getting the Black Soul Gem business out of the way, getting lots of combat done, testing out our new protective shield on our gear, stopping by Kawach once more, doing the final business that we needed to do there, and now we can get on the roads to Anvil, where a lot of great quests await us. So, have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, 
Stay dark. Goodbye.